I don't believe in torturing people. I do believe in enhanced interrogation techniques unknown to the enemy within our values. The idea of the Army Field Manual being the only way you interrogate somebody is crazy. It was never written for that. The CIA is out of the interrogation business. But this guy on the boat, they're so afraid to use Gitmo that they're basically making decisions around not having to use Gitmo rather than what's best for the country. What's best for the nation is to treat these foreign fighters as enemy combatants. In war, you don't worry about prosecuting the enemy, you worry about finding information about the enemy. World War II, we prosecuted very few enemy prisoners. The goal is to keep them off the battlefield and understand what they're up to. So what the Obama administration has done is they don't want to use Gitmo, and it is the only jail available to America. I wanted, like Senator McCain, President Bush, to find a new jail, but that's not possible. It is a well-run jail, we should use it. So we're a nation without a jail. So what do they do? They put this guy on a ship, and he's got to be smart enough to know they can't keep me on this ship forever. So it really does infringe on the ability to get good information. If he were at Gitmo, he'd be after th wondering, am I ever going to get out of here? <laughs> he'd be well treated, but the uncertainty of his fate he would actually get into federal court as to whether or not the evidence suggests he's an enemy combatant. But here's what's going to happen. You're going to get an intel-driven case that doesn't rise to beyond a reasonable doubt. And because you don't want to hold people at Gitmo, that's the only facility available in America, Bagram's off the table. It'll bring the Afghan government if it becomes the jail for American war on terror. You're going to basically be pushing people into criminal court with cases that should never go to criminal court. We should look at all of these foreign fighters first as enemy combatants, milk them dry of intelligence, then decide where to prosecute them. And I'm okay with using Article III courts in some situations. What I'm not okay with is looking at, the, at this war as a crime. These guys didn't rob a liquor store. They're committed to our destruction and the destruction of those who would live in peace with us. So we should look at capturing these people as an opportunity to make us safer.